Jaipur. There are two cases we are going to learn. One is at a point along the axial line. At a point along axial line. And another case is that along equatorial plane. Equatorial plane. Now let us learn the first case. An electric field due to a dipole at a point along the axial line. At a point along axial line. So we know the meaning of axial line is the line along the x axis of the dipole. So let us consider uh, a dipole. You know, it is very important point to be noted is, first we have to take negative charge, negative charge of minus Q and then positive charge is taken. Why? The direction of dipole moment vector always acts from negative charge to positive charge and this is uh, the dipole separated by a distance small distance to you and you know the fact that distances are always measured from the midpoint of the dipole that is that point is noted as O. And our aim is to find out an electric field at a point somewhere else, but it should lie on the axial line, axial line of the dipole, which is what is x-axis. And it should be a continuous line. And let us take a point C, where we are going to find out the electric field due to dipole. You know there will be electric field due to individual charges. There will be electric field at point C due to plus Q and there will be also an electric field due to a charge minus Q at point C. Now we are going to find out the total electric field at the point C due to dipole. So for this let us find out an electric field due to plus Q. Electric field at C due to plus Q is equal to, we know very well that if it is an electric field, the expression is E vector and as this is due to positive charge, it is represented as plus. It is equal to, in general, we write the expression uh, according to the previous sessions, that is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R minus A is a whole square and this lies along BC. So, this we have to uh, learn from the diagram that uh, see here, see uh, this diagram and uh, this is a point C where we are going to find out the 
resultant electric field on the total electric field. Uh, now we are uh, finding out the electric field due to plus Q. And it's a well known fact that the electric field due to plus Q always directed outwards. And this is represented as um, this is point C and this is represented as E plus vector this is the electric field due to um, plus Q which is directed outwards ok so um, let us also assume that this is point C where, where we are finding out the uh, electric field due to dipole and suppose L, uh, minus Q is placed at the point A and plus Q is placed at the point B and distance of this point where we are going to find out the um, resultant electric field is equal to R. So, and uh, we know distance always measured from the midpoint of the dipole. So, that distance is equal to R and the distance between the dipole is QA and as this is the midpoint and this distance is taken as A and this is another A. So, uh, let, uh, let us ask the question, then what is the distance of plus Q to the point C, see the whole distance is R and the remaining distance, uh, the distance A comes within this distance, that is why distance is calculated as R minus A and it is according to the uh, expression of uh, uh, electric field that we write the distance first, hope you understand. Um, this is the electric field at C due to plus Q that is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R minus A the whole square and this lies along BZ that is in the direction of um, electric field vector of positive charge and this is the direction um, of electric dipole moment vector also from the diagram itself we will come. Uh, see This is the direction of dipole moment, P vector is the direction of dipole moment vector and um, it, is, it also lies along BZ and electric dipole moment vector always acts from minus Q to plus Q now and so this direction of E plus vector also lies on the direction of P vector and so along BZ it can be represented or uh, ch uh, changed as this along BC since along BC can be written as 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q by R minus A the whole square P cap since P vector is equal to 2 Q A P cap and here the direction of E plus vector also lies in the direction of dipole moment P cap. Here we change along BC as P cap. Similarly, we find electric field, electric field due to minus Q at C itself and that would be equal to E minus vector given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught minus q. So, here it comes minus q by distance is r plus a the whole square and again it is represented as p cap. Let us learn from the uh, diagram. See here this is minus q. We need the distance of minus q up to the point C. So, the distance of minus Q and O is already A and the additional distance is R that is from O to C additional distance is R and so the total distance of minus Q to the point C is equal to R plus A the whole square. I hope you understand and let us come to the derivation now. It is equal to E minus vector is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R, R plus A the whole square P cap. 
see one more thing you should note from the diagram itself. Diagram itself, which point is closer to uh, which charge is closer to, uh, to the point C? It is plus Q. See, plus Q is the charge which lies closer to the point C where we are finding out the resultant electric field. So, definitely the electric field due to this plus Q will be stronger than the electric field due to the minus Q. So, which would which is going to be stronger? It is electric field due to plus Q. E vector, E plus vector is stronger than E minus vector. Why? The reason is the point C lies closer to plus Q. Okay. Now, well, that is why you may also note down in the diagram, it is very important point that in the diagram, you may see E plus vector is represented as uh, in the, uh, the lines which is somewhat more in length than E minus that E minus vector is represented a little smaller line than E plus vector. The reason I hope you understand since plus Q is closer to C E plus vector electric field due to plus Q is stronger and that is why the it is represented with a uh, some uh, line which is length more length than the electric field due to minus q it is represented as e minus vector and it is a known fact that if it is plus q the field is outward and this is minus q and so the field electric field is marked as in inverse direction very important to be noted while you draw the diagram e plus to be length of the line should be greater e plus vector order line greater I know, than e minus vector order line okay now our aim is to find out our aim is to find out the total electric field at point c how do we calculate how do we calculate it is using the principle of superposition. So, we use the principle of superposition that we have learnt already. What is principle of superposition? The total force is equal to the vector sum of the individual forces acting on the charge. So, superposition principle we are now applying to find out the total electric field and this uh, uh, superposition principle is also applicable for electric field also as we are uh, as uh, I uh, told for force, it is also applied for electric field. So, how to find out the total electric field that E total E total vector is equal to the vector sum of individual electric Okay, now let us move on to the applying superposition principle that if we know that it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r minus a the whole square p cap plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught minus q by R plus A the whole square P cap. Let us derive the total electric field as P total vector is equal to taking 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q as common and even P cap we can take in as common and we get 1 by R minus A the whole square minus 1 by R plus A the whole square. So, we have to solve. So, we we'll get one by what the epsilon naught q p cap 
I just take the LCM, you know the process how to this is R plus theta whole square. So R plus theta whole square minus R minus theta whole square. So let me solve. It's equal to we take the same, same we do, and so we take only this part what we are solving. That is when we just expand it, it is R square. Plus two R A plus two square minus R square plus two R A minus A square by that LQ part. Okay. Now we may directly write what it is instead of writing this thing. This thing physics. It will be derivation part. It should be physics. When I take them, it should be physics. Not write that thing. Okay. Now let us uh, write once again. It is R minus theta whole square into R plus theta whole square. Now let us solve this. Okay, so let us solve this. And A square and this one will get cancelled. So what do we have? It is equal to one by four pi. Epsilon naught two theta two R A plus two R A four R A by this is R plus A square minus R plus A square into R minus A whole square. So it can be written as according to the expansion A square minus B square. This is R square minus A square by whole square. And you see um, that value as one four R A by R square minus A A square by R square. Okay. Suppose this is from the diagram. Let us move on to the um, diagram part so that we will be clear. See the distance. The distance R is the distance from the midpoint of the dipole to the point C, and A is the half of the distance of the dipole. Suppose if we take the distance R as very very greater than this A, then our expression for total electric field at point C due to dipole. Changes since here we apply R is very very greater than A, then it is equal to one by four pi epsilon naught q theta four R A by neglecting A square here we neglect this part as the distance is greater we get only R power four. We are neglecting a square the a square which is equal. The reason is that R is very very greater than a, and so the expression becomes Q Q into two. Or we, for our convenience, we write like this by R power four. Let us uh, cancel. We we'll get R two. So we have now one by four by epsilon naught. And here we we'll have to write theta also. We we'll just take two into two a q theta. Divided by R two, and hope you remember this part, which is the electric dipole moment vector, as we have already studied that um, p vector, that is electric dipole moment vector, is equal to 
Okay. Uh, you, you know very well that point C is chosen, you know, it is to the right side, right side of the dipole from the diagram you may know that. It, is, uh, it lies along the right side of the dipole. Let us uh, see. Suppose if point C lies along the left side of the dipole. So, what I am coming to say? Um, there are two equal and opposite charges that is dipole separated by a distance p a it is plus q that we have now found out the total electric field at c e total vector we have found out and the direction uh, we have found out and that point c lies along the right side it is right side i suppose now suppose if the point c lies along the left side then what would be the electric field what would be the electric field then that it has also the same electric field resultant electric field at point c suppose the point c lies to the left side of the dipole that e total vector is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 p vector by r cube and what about the direction? So, this we can say as the, uh, suppose if you want to only know down the magnitude, we take the modulus of e total vector. Suppose we want the direction. So, what about the direction of this uh, total electric field? Let us learn the direction of total electric field. Direction of e total vector. It is represented from the diagram that dipole usually we take minus q first which is separated by a small distance 2a and this is plus q nothing but dipole and as usual this is with point o and the point we consider lies along the right side along the axial line right side of the dipole but along the axial line and we have now found out the total electric field e total vector at point C but what about the direction since E plus vector that is electric field due to uh, positive charge is stronger than the electric field due to negative charge uh, E plus vector has only greater magnitude so the direction of electric field um, at point C uh, in, a, in its resultant value or in its total value uh, that lies along the same direction of e plus vector since it has greater magnitude than e minus vector. So, so far we have learned electric field due to an electric dipole at the point C along the axial line. And first we have to find out what is the electric field due to plus q and uh, we have to find out what is the electric field due to minus q. Then we have to apply the superposition principle to find out the total electric field and uh, the magnitude of the electric field is found out 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 p by r cube. And to find out the um, E vector, E vector for the total, it is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 P vector by R Q. And the direction of uh, the total electric field lies also along the axial line, but it takes the direction of E plus vector itself since it has the greater 
magnitude. Let us move on to the case 2. That is, we are going to learn electric field due to an electric dipole, but at a point on the equatorial plane. Electric field. Due to dipole at a point on equatorial plane. Let us um, draw diagram by assuming certain forces. As usual, we have to take minus q. It is chosen at the point A and it is plus Q taken at point B. Let O be the point. Now our aim is to find out electric field at a point on its equatorial plane. No? So let us suppose that point lies on the equatorial plane. So um, you know very well about the equatorial line this is uh, it is separated by a distance small r it's an equatorial line and we are going to consider a plane along this line so let us uh, draw a plane this one is called a plane and um, see this is the point on the equatorial Plane. Let us suppose this point C lies at equal distance from plus Q and minus Q. Since point C lies at equal distance from plus Q and minus Q, definitely electric field due to plus Q and electric field due to minus Q has the same magnitude because it has the same distance. Okay. Now, um, this is also another uh, thing we should have assumed. What about the direction of this E plus? How do you denote here the direction? It is denoted by E plus vector. And the electric field from plus Q, it is always directed outward. That is E plus vector. Then, what about the electric field due to minus Q? This is E minus vector. Okay. See that the um, length of the line of same. Because they have the same magnitude. Now we are going to find out the total electric field along this direction. This is how we need to find out the total electric field. So here we have E plus vector. And which... Uh, um, lies along BC and uh, E minus vector which is directed inwards along CA, we are going to resolve them into two components because they are inclined at an angle theta to the dipole. So, let us learn how to resolve this E plus vector and E minus vector. Okay. So, if you know, if this is E plus vector. I have just extra, extracted a part from the diagram. This is E plus vector. And it is inclined at an angle theta. So, this is angle of inclination theta. Then it has the two components known as vertical component and a horizontal component. And this horizontal component is taken as E plus modulus of vector cos theta horizontal and vertical component is taken as E plus here we put modulus since we take only the magnitude sin theta. Then what about E minus E minus vector? See from this diagram it is directed inwards this part. I am just uh, drawing this part. This is 
e minus vector suppose this is e minus vector and this e minus e minus vector has um, the horizontal component along the same direction as e plus cos theta as e minus cos theta also the same this is horizontal and this is vertical vertical component of e minus vector Represented as e minus modulus sin theta. So, students, you must observe diagram well. See here, e plus sin theta and e minus sin theta. They are act along the same line. They should act along the same line, and uh, they get cancelled. Because the direction is opposite, they are equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction, that's why they get cancelled. Only these horizontal components get added. Horizontal components get added. So, what would be the total electric field? So, this E total vector is equal to E plus. Some of this modulus cos theta minus E minus modulus cos theta here as we have to include minus one e cap and this is also e cap. Why do we take um, T cap with a negative sign? Because let us uh, come to the diagram. See what about the direction of uh, P vector? P vector always acts from minus Q to plus Q. See uh, in this uh, diagram part that uh, here when you just fix the diagram here let us imagine this, this diagram is fixed here you may find the direction of total vector is opposite to the direction of p vector. That is why p cap is taken in the negative line or uh, it is uh, negative sign is chosen. Okay. And so we get e magnitudes here, the magnitudes are same. Magnitudes are same. And so E plus modulus vector is equal to E minus modulus vector. Then we have to find out anything on like uh, either of the two. And so V total vector is going to be. minus E plus plus cos theta e cap. Now let us find out what is this. This is minus 2 for a electric field E plus vector we write 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 
2 by the distance square is taken as r square plus k square into cos theta into k cap. Let me explain why do we take the distance as r square plus k a square. Let us come to the diagram part. See here, this is the distance of O to the point C, which is separated by a distance R. See here, it is R. And you know, this is a triangle when you take the distance of plus Q to C can be written as R square plus A square. See, this is A. As the whole distance between them is 2A and this distance is taken as A and this is R. This is the distance between point O and C is um, a small r and so this distance that is distance of plus Q to C is taken as um, R square plus A square. R square plus A square. That is why in the expression we choose, we write uh, as r square plus a square. Now, what is cos theta? That is also we have to find out from the diagram itself. From as theta value is, so here let us take a part of the diagram. If it is minus q, let us come to the part. This is minus q and its field is this is point c and the distance is r and this is o and distance is a and this angle is theta. So what is cos theta? From this we may find out that cos theta is equal to and it is also known fact that this distance can be taken as the square root of this. So, from here we know cos theta is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse. So, it is a by square root of cos square plus a square. So, shall we substitute here? equal to minus 2 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q r square plus a square cos theta is again a by r square plus a square the whole power half the square root so it is whole power half into a cap see it has a power as 1 and this power is raised as half and so we get the expression as e total vector is equal to minus 2 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q a by r square plus a square the whole power a by 2 a cap. And shall we substitute as p vector is equal to 2 q a p cap, which is known as, which is nothing but electric dipole moment represented by p vector is equal to 2 q a p cap. And so finally, we get minus 1 by 4 by epsilon naught this 2 q P cap it is replaced by P vector by R square plus A square the whole power 3 by 2. Here again we apply the condition that the distance um, from the um, dipole distance of the point along the equatorial plane from the dipole is taken as R and it should, uh, it should lie exactly at the midpoint. So, let us uh, draw exactly at midpoint. 
this is this point and this is the distance r and this small distance is a and if we apply the condition that r is very very greater than a and so this part gets cancelled or it can be neglected and we get a total vector a cancel out minus 1 by f by epsilon naught p vector by r squared whole power a by 2 and so we want to get cancel it is e total vector plus e total vector equal to minus 1 by f by epsilon naught p vector by R cube. This is what the e total vector um, at the point C along the equatorial plane. So, if we take the point along the equatorial plane, that we should find out R cube. Now, we have some important inferences after learning this schemas. The first inference is that let us Compare this total electric field at a point along the axial line that is E total vector along the axial line is that 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 p vector by 2 pi. Then what about the uh, electric field along the equatorial line or equatorial plane that we want? See, that is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p vector by 2. Compare these two, you are able to see this E axial is equal to twice the field of equatorial. See the magnitude. Just uh, see the magnitude. The axial line has this value and equatorial plane um, has this much of value. Compare this to when equ uh, electric field due to equatorial plane is multiplied by 2. That is equal to the electric field due along the axial line. And this is only input for very long distances. Okay, then what about the direction? You may ask the question. See, how can we say the vehicle is from here minus comes from where does this minus uh, come? This negative sign indicates negative sign indicates that direction of equatorial is opposite to P vector that is it is directed opposite to the electric dipole moment vector whereas electric field due to axial line lies along the direction of P vector direction of Okay, this is the first important inference. Let us learn now the second inference. At very large distances, electric field due to dipole varies as 1 by R cube. We may find out from the expression. Mm, but for a point charge, if we uh, just write what is the electric field for a point charge, we may write as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 by R square. So, this is only uh, giving 1 by R square. It varies with the R square. So, from this, uh, we understand that electric field due to a dipole at very large distances goes 0. Goes to 0 faster than the electric field due to a point charge. Now, what is the reason for this behavior? 
um, for large distances these two charges uh, which is in the dipole appear to be close to each other and neutralize each other. Uh, for an example, we take any dotted line, you may have seen dotted line, dotted line, when you just um, view it or when you see it, observe it uh, from a large distance, this for an example I am saying, this is dotted line. So when a dotted line is uh, seen or observed from a large distance, all these dots um, appear to lie very close to each other and this line seems continuous for us. Do you agree with this? Yes, the same is the case here. Now, this is the uh, second important inference and let us come to the third important inference that suppose the distance between the dipole when it approaches 0 and charge Q reaches infinity then definitely the product of dipole 2A Q product of um, uh, 2A Q is equal to P which is the finite value. This is the finite value. And uh, so in such a case, in this in such a case, this dipole is said to be point dipole. It's said to be point dipole. Hope you have understood students. Um, just we will recall uh, electric field due to an electric dipole at a point along the equatorial plane. Um, it is very important to draw the diagram very clearly as it is from the book and uh, very important point is that minus q plus q point, uh, point c is chosen along the equatorial plane. And here uh, the magnitudes of uh, E plus vector and uh, E minus are equal, the same. And so we are getting the total electric field is equal to minus 1 by cot by epsilon naught 2 into cos theta by r square plus a square p cam. And the final value we have arrived that E total vector is equal to minus 1 by cot by epsilon naught C vector by r cube. Uh, here the magnitude of the electric field at a point on the dipole axis is twice the magnitude is twice the magnitude of the electric field at points on the equatorial plane. Okay, let us come to the let us come to the part that I explained. Yes, we have understood now the magnitude of the electric field due to the uh, um, dipole at a point along the axial line is twice that of the equatorial line. And um, there are other important inferences also we came to know about what is a point dipole. Thank you.